so it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go that Give me a drink, bartender. Hey everybody, welcome back to more Mass Effect 2. I'm Sir Mathis, and last time we helped out Miranda with, well, saving her sister from a bunch of, you know, weird merc stuff and her dad or whatever. The Asari are how advanced? And this is what they do with it? Money is still power. Same old, same old. We'd do the same if we could. Well, Jacob, it's gonna be racist, okay. You take a mystery drink and whoa! Hold on to your livers! You deserve somebody who I still don't see why we're here. Solarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. I don't understand. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? That makes no sense. Calm down, man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. What do Turians do? Do Turians do this too? I'm just here for the drinks. You said that bachelor parties are for very close friends. We're just co-workers. We've been co-workers for five years, though. Aren't Solarian years like dog years? Okay, now that's offensive. I appreciate the gesture, but my people don't even have sex drives the way humans do. Uh-huh. Take a look at that, man. Everybody likes the Asari. Everybody. But we actually reproduce by... My word. She is very... Linda. I can appreciate her dancing in an aesthetic manner, but I don't have feelings of... She is a lovely shade of blue. Okay, that makes my legs hurt just watching it. And my knees are meant to bend that way. This isn't as bad as I fear. It's actually... Is it warm in here? Okay, you see that bit there? The little divot in her abdomen? It's called a belly button. Humans and Asari have them. You're gonna be doing shots out of it later tonight. That can't be sanitary. Not the point, man. I can understand why I might find Asari attractive, but how can they be attractive to humans, too? They look just like Solarians. What? They look exactly like us. I'm, I, I'm not seeing the Solarian thing at all. At all. You're both wrong. Asari look just like Bluturians. Look at the head fringe. Wait, you don't think they're like mind controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. You're going to ruin Asari for me. And there aren't many Turian women on Ilium. Well, I suppose watching just one more dance wouldn't hurt. Ha ha ha, that's the spirit. As long as I'm not paying for the drinks. I still don't see why we're here. Solarians do not... Yeah, I, I like that conversation that they just... You know, the, the Solarian bachelor party. Uh, and also, weirdly, gives you some insight into the Asari. Um... How I it's not something conscious. I think it's mentioned in their codex entries as well, but you know, essentially they're a lot of items to buy. Essentially, um we have the Asari are kind of I, I think it's like their biotic powers or something like that do that. Uh, Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Excuse me, but I found a locket with a picture of a human. Someone who looks like you. Oh. Steven. Thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. And so we get a little bit of extra experience, uh, get a little bit of cash. Um, it's not much, but still nice side quest to take it in care of as well. Uh, I think that's it for Ilium until we go out to do Shadow Broker. So, yeah, that's neat. We're gonna keep on heading out. We'll pop on back to the Normandy. I think we're gonna start Jack's mission up today. Um, because of... One, I just don't care about Jacob. Even though his mission is pretty good, it's Jacob. 
So, you know. Don't feel like it. Uh, and then... We also have... Another thing afterwards that's of interest. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not a good time. Trying to map contamination vectors requires focus. Shipwide infection of human tailored virus possible if I slip. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Yeah, it's very sad that he doesn't have... Uh, I missed out on the Tali dialogue with Morden. Um, I'll edit it into this episode, I think. I'll just send, you know, just put in a clip of that, maybe at the end? Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Of course, Shepard. Join me. Still talking to Cole yet? Yes. It's still difficult, but he seems less angry. Will you hear my confession, Shepard? I wouldn't talk to you if I didn't want to hear what you have to say. When I married Erica, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family, but I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius Commission because I didn't know what else to do. Not the healthiest attitude to take on a mission. You're right, it's not. Looking back now, it's clear I'd resigned myself to death. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target, forcing me to move faster challenging me. I had to reach her first. You're alive because I have wounded your pride? Pride is the line between a professional and a thug. Your mission gave me purpose. A cause to die for. A chance to atone. I was able to speak to my son again. I can leave my body in peace. We've got a long way to go before you can rest. I know. I'm prepared for whatever comes. So I think that's the last of the dialogue that we'll get with Thane. I think we're done with the dialogue with Garrus as well, which is really a shame. That's something I'm, I'm again, also not the biggest fan of in 2, is that... Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm Talk to you later. Be here yeah, it, it, there's a lot of characters, and they're good characters, but... Once you finish their loyalty missions, there's not much more to talk to them about. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Oriana in time without your help. And you proved yourself trustworthy. Unlike Niket, I'm glad I got to take him out myself. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life, and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. Are you going to talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused, and she needs time to adjust to her new home. You never told me what you talked about. I introduced myself. Her family was shocked. She adjusted quickly, of course. She's as smart as I am. She plays the violin, loves the adagio movement of Nielsen's fifth, just like I do. She wants to work in colony development. Told a joke about it. She's really funny, something we don't share. Let me know if I can do anything else. I think I got it from here. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. So we'll return to talking with her later. Uh, the romance options do have more dialogue, even if you don't romance them, but... It's Miranda. Um... Tali does have one more thing. Um... I'll just show it off. She'll repeat this dialogue until after we stop the collectors. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? For you? Of course. I can't tell you how much what you said means to me. 
But I understand if you need to find something, someone else. Not that I'm complaining if you're still interested. Um, are you still interested? I don't want to risk your health, but I'm willing to wait. Thank you. I want you to see what's under this damn helmet. I need to feel your skin against mine. To share myself with you before we fly off into the final battle. I'll find a way. So yeah, every time you do that, until we go off for our mission against the Collectors, she will repeat that dialogue. That top option will take you out of the romance in case you want to second guess or change your romance partner. Uh, I think actually now would be a good time to put in the the Morden Tali dialogue. He does have dialogue for every single um, romance option. No messages for you, Commander. But obviously, one that's important for us is the one for Tali. I imagine that we're not gonna fuck. Oh wow, actually, using bit of palladium for a planet in the Ilium star system. Yeah, uh, the like an hour. Well, um, it's a minor dialogue thing, but still. Um, actually. You know what, because I don't know how long that dialogue is, I'll actually do the... I think it might be like four minutes. We're gonna do this smuggled cargo mission that was given to us by... Actually, was this the one? Yeah, this must have been. Uh, given to us by Arya for helping her out. So we gotta go to Daratar. And if this is the mission, I think it is. Service hotspot detected the planet Dartar in the Foyer system is a suspected Eclipse smuggling site service is interested in obtaining materials kept at the site. Uplifts will be paid handsomely for any intact crates they retrieve from the site. Be aware that Eclipse would rather see the cargo destroyed than lose it to a rival organization. Payment will be made once the acquisition of undamaged crates is verified. And actually, really? Broke away. No anomaly marker. Okay. Uh, playing it with some good Ezo here as well. Um, I'll probably between episodes do a little bit of resource acquisition. Just so that we can get more of our upgrades up and at them. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, while we're here, we might as well pick up the... Pick up what we can, especially if this is an Ezo planet. Ezo, uh, we surprisingly haven't used much of it, but... It is still pretty expensive to do. Uh, Miranda has now a black armor. Uh, let's go with Grunt and... Not sure, let's go with the Tuchanka boys. Grunts, let's boost up his fortification a bit. Morden, let's give him Neural Shock. And we're gonna switch that over to the Matic. And the Eviscer. No, Claymore. Yeah, Morton feels like a locust guy. This mission is a little bit irritating, I will be honest, because, well, we just got a few Amir. Uh, I believe it's just the two Amir that we fight against, or at least those are the main guys. Uh, we want to immediately switch to the Phalanx. Yeah, so we got the intact crates, we got a couple of Amir. And really, we just got to clear... The the goal for this one is to just take out the enemies as quickly as possible. Uh, okay, there are three. Uh, the more you take out, the more money you get. And wait for warp to return. 
there we are from whatever it effectively the same they can destroy the crates a little bit quickly And then, can we, can we like, thank you, that'll work. Alright, that's one Emir down. Let's go for this one next. Why are you just like getting to cover? Okay, you actually are covered. Wow. Okay. Getting corrected. Ow. I honestly don't don't think it's possible to uh, win this mission while keeping all the crates. So you know, keep that in mind. Uh, power armor, tempest. Charge ahead, shoot that one. Can we draw multiple in at the same time? Probably not. No, it doesn't look like it. Would have been cool, but nope. Mirror actually. You know what? I have been underestimating Mirror. Guns do quite a hefty chunk of damage. Uh, and this mission can be accessed really early on, so you know, be cautious with this mission. And now we cryo. There goes a one. Hello, run. Get into cover, chef. Get into cover. Don't just randomly leave cover because you feel like it. And good. Huh. I think around seven is se like seven is a number that I usually get around. So and oh my god, mission's not too interesting, so I'm just gonna skip to the end. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Past relationship with Talizora makes dalliance attractive as stress release. Still, recommend caution. Quarry an immune system weak could kill her. Tally is important to me. I wouldn't be doing this if she didn't want it too. Of course, no offense intended. We'll be here to provide treatment as necessary. Minimize risk. You have a recommendation as a doctor? Tali Zora acquired antiseptic. Recommend you self-sterilize as well. Oral contact with tissue dangerous. Take precautions. Also forwarding advice booklet to your quarters. Valuable diagrams, positions comfortable for both species, erogenous zone overviews. Can supply oils or ointments to reduce discomfort. Gave ED electronic relationship aid demonstration vids to use as necessary. Wait a minute, Borden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust, would never dream. Of mockery? Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required. Jeez, that took way longer than it should have. Like six extra minutes. Uh, we're just gonna quick run through. I don't think 
there's anything here, but doesn't hurt to check. Uh, and they're with nine crates remaining, which is actually pretty decent. Um, lower levels. Uh, have to perform another full maintenance check. Sand keeps getting into our equipment. Increasing frequency of system checks. We'll have to be ready to shut down this place if someone spots us from orbit. Yeah, it's... Uh, this mission can be a pain. Um, got some power cells. Plus two heavy weapon ammo. That's not bad, honestly. Uh, well, I didn't use any heavy weapon ammo, but still. Tops us off, at least. Yeah, we'll... We'll leave back for the Normandy. I think this... Yeah, this is the second assignment mission that we've done. Uh, so... 1725 found uh, 3750. I have no idea how much you get per crate, but still, yeah, uh, that will do it for this time. Next time, we'll go and actually help out Jack. But until then, see you.